Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Thief 2. We're ready to get into the next mission, which uh, it's going to be a little bit more story. So far it's been, you know, there's been story going on, but now it's going to like, we're going to kick it up a notch. So I hope you're ready to watch some cutscenes. I'm going to kind of sit back and watch them this time and not talk so much through them. So here we go. Let's do it. of the Council of the Keepers, you must come with us. Garrett, be reasonable. Logic dictates... Leave. But we must... Now! Has your wealth of knowledge grown so vast that you've lost all hunger for more? Is there no more trust between us then? <sighs> Let's make this fast. My hand is copper, my brow is lead. Suffer me in a red patina, swept along in a molten flow to a sad eternity. My stride interrupted, my thoughts untimed. My tears are become drops of silver that shatter the crystalline fern. I plead the wind to sweep us away. Nice poem. Not poetry, prophecy. The metal age is upon us. I picked the gilded apple from the iron tree. I wipe the rust from my brow. Iron trees? Not in my part of town. Find the humor if you must. But can you tell me truly, Garrett, are there any trees in your part of town? I will answer for you. There are not. Destiny and danger are still focused on the one, the renegade who is both brethren and betrayer. Well, you've got the danger part right anyway. Tell you what, you keepers can plant a few shrubs about town and... I'll take care of me. I'll find my own way home. You're a fool! Do you not understand what is at stake? Did you not hear the interpreter's words? Yes, Keeper Orland. He has heard. Do not despair. Let me go after him. Alone. Not to persuade, but to leave the door open between us. One more moment, if you will, Garrett. One moment. You have trouble, my friend. Danger from someone who hired Truart to kill you. Yes? Then take this. The sooner you are done with your business, the sooner you will help us. Don't count on it. Oh, the, the keepers are so crafty. My heart, it ceases. My breath undrawn, my eyes, my eyes forever, forever focused on this sanguine metal, on the sanguine dawn. metal dawn. Garrett is always so wrapped up in all this stuff. I'll, I'll explain in a minute what, what's, what I'm thinking. I don't want to interrupt this next cutscene. <laughs> mission briefing. This is the mission briefing. The treasures of knowledge are the most rare and guarded. I headed back to my safe house and kept thinking about the letter. I know they're trying to manipulate me, but keepers never alter the truth. Just keep it in the shadows. Besides, it's not like I got a lot of leads anyway. If you seek the private knowledge of the sheriff, go to the Eastport Mechanist Seminary tomorrow night. With stealthy discretion, overhear what you may at a certain very timely meeting. Looks like I have something useful to learn from a seminary for a change. There are two open towers and some back doors which might be helpful for getting in. The catacombs below the church could be another way in, but I'd rather not tread where the dead sleep. The meeting will most likely take place in some sort of conference hall. Heh, <laughs> there's no guarantee that I'll even be able to get inside, but all I need to do is get close enough to listen at the door. 
I better pull this off quickly and find a new hideout before the bulldogs get my scent. This situation does have one advantage. Things can't get any worse. <laughs> Who could hire someone like the sheriff to kill me? Well, we shall see, shall we? Yeah, so where we're going is a mechanist uh, seminary. It used to be a Hammerite cathedral, but the mechanists have taken it over. Uh, the keeper's tips are your best lead, so you better be at the door to overhear the conversation. Yeah, so this is what we're going to do first thing. Hear the, hear the um, conversation, get a bunch of loot, not going to kill anybody, and then we get out. It's a pretty simple mission, to be honest. Um, oh, it's hanging up here. Doesn't want to load. <laughs> Jesus. That is the longest a mission has ever taken a load on this machine. That was crazy. Uh, you really don't need anything. I'm going to take an invisibility potion. That is definitely the most useful thing. You want that. Water arrows, eh. Take them with you. You don't need them, but take them with you. You shouldn't need them anyway. I, I can't say you won't need them. Uh, it's always good to have a flash bomb handy. Um, I got 10 moss arrows. We're not going to need more than that. Let's see. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take another healing potion. And a moss arrow. Okay, there we go. Done. Here we are, the mechanists. We are here. This is where they worship. Or at least... This is one of their seminaries, I believe. I don't think this is the only one. Alright, so, um, let's check out the map. We are right here, looking south. Um, where we want to go is one of these two doors. I'm going to go to this door, so we're going to go sort of south, and then east, and south. We're on the building. Uh, I'm going to click a little loot along the way, so let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I didn't mention this, but there are guards up in these towers, so be careful of that. Other than that, there's not a whole lot going over going on over here. There's I don't I can't think of any patrols that happen on this side of the building until you trigger some conversations later. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to trigger those conversations until like towards the end of the mission, so they won't be a big deal. Okay, so. Bad. So this this right here is a servant. We made some noise and attracted it, but it doesn't matter. We can just knock it out. Strange. I wonder what kind of work the mechanists do here. Yeah, I don't really know what to make of this, guys. I don't know what, what's going on with this. Is it a robot? Is it human? I have no idea. Um. Oh God. Oh God. There's more. Why are they in these tubes? Oh god, this is freaky. I don't know what to think about this. There seems to be a trap door in the floor. Oh, look, a switch. Oh. Oh god. What's this? I could really learn to hate these guys. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, first things first, there's a little ring on the ground right here. So this is the only secret in this mission. A sad but true. This would be a great mission for more secrets, but that... I mean, it's a good one. If they're only gonna have one, that's that's definitely a good one. So there we go. Secret taken care of, a little ring on the floor, and... There's a purse. So there you go. I'm gonna exit on the other side of this building. I guess I don't really need to, but... Wanna, okay? Yeah. <laughs> if we would have kept following the path around, this is where it would have led anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, you can't go around that way. We have to go through the metal path here, but it's no big deal. You're not gonna alert anybody. Um, wait, I don't think you need a key for this. <laughs> I can't remember this, if there's loot in here or not. Yeah, there is. And an ancient hammer. Get rid of that. Piece of crap. Keep following the metal walkway, we're almost there. It doesn't matter when, you, There's this isn't a timed mission by the way. Uh, we're almost there, the door's right up there. Um, be careful, there is a guard patrolling this 
this way. He comes out of that door right there usually. Before I listen to the conversation, I'm gonna go into the creepy ass graveyard here. Freaky. There's a hammer there. No, no ghosts are gonna appear on dead or anything, so. We're fine. Okay, a couple hammers. All right, so the conversation starts at the top of that door. I'm gonna get out of the light before that guard comes that's eventually coming. <laughs> um, just so you know, this is a little bit long of a conversation, but you have to make sure you listen to the very end. Um, at the very end of the conversation, he's gonna tell you the place where, where to find a certain key. Um, there are 14, I believe, spots in the mission where that key can be, so if you don't hear where he put it, you have to search all those locations until you eventually find it. Garrett will tell you you found it, though. I mean, it'll be obvious, but still. Better There's 14 places, so... I can hear the meeting just fine from out here. Plus, it's a, this is a really interesting conversation. We get to see who the sheriff has been talking to. Who the sheriff has been... Um, who hired the sheriff to kill me, so... Kill Garrett. <laughs> Freaky noises. Behold, Sheriff Truett, from the lowly street rat emerges the loyal worker, that which I call the servant. This is one of the tramps I delivered to you. The transformation is spectacular. And neither want nor worry has he. Lucky fellow. <laughs> Strange you should mention worries, Garrus, because I do have one. It's not that the money's not right, no, it's just that I need to be convinced you've taken the proper precautions. The Truett name is untainted by scandal, and I will not be the one to bring it humiliation and ruin. Trust thee in me, for it is the Builder himself who guides me, and the Baron need never know. Yes. I'm glad your builder guides you, but it would make me feel even more confident if you were to let me in on your whole scheme. Come now, what's the crux of it all, eh, Garrus? Show me what's so special about your new servants. Ah, uh, it is impossible to hide anything from you, good sheriff. I will give the full explanation then, in the form of... a uh, demonstration? The visual in this instance would far surpass any verbal elaborations I could relate, but I must ask thee to step away from the masked servant, that's right, and meanwhile I will retrieve our volunteer, a most unfortunate gutter snipe who waits just outside. Come, come, gentle beggar, and stand thee just there, next to the masked man. All is in readiness, so keep thine eyes on the new arrival, whilst I signal the servant, Dusty. My word! The mask emits a red vapor! Continue thy observations, Truett. But it consumes them! We are in peril! Fear thee not, stout sheriff, for we are safe at this distance. See, already the reaction ceases. They are gone! And what remains in their stead? Sand? No. Rust. Indeed, tis very much like rust and harmless once settled. Brother Fegan, I pray thee, do sweep up what is left of those two. Yes. A weapon, then! Quite fantastic and monstrous. Of course, you'll keep these servants you're making away from me and my men. I need not even ask. Then we are in agreement. You need subjects for your servant project, and I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes, those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. They'll be rounded up, charges invented, etc. Still, there's always risk. So I will give you 20, no more. For your part, you'll remember to keep our transactions absolutely secret. And of course, deliver my payment in advance, in full, tomorrow. I don't trust you, Karras, so you'll receive the subjects only after I confirm the payment. Well, our business here is finished. 
Yes. Fairly well, Trick. Now see, friends, with the builder's efficiency, I have completed two tasks with but one effort. Firstly, I did secure 20 subjects to be transformed into servants, as you heard. And secondly, I secured the loyalty of the wary Sheriff Truett. Yes, his loyalty. <laughs> Truett fears scandal. Yet his actions of late could bring him that or worse, if ever made public. Now, behold my wax cylinder machine. I've used it to capture the sheriff's very words, even as they moved through the air today. Hawking friends. And I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes, those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. With his voice thus preserved, Truett dare not betray me or he'll have the scandal he fears so much. Brother Fagan, thou wilt see to it that this wax cylinder machine gets safely to the bank on the morrow. You will find the safety deposit box key in a closet near the pulpit. Friends, we are adjourned. Return now to your duties. One I'd of my favorite to copy that key myself. Yeah, okay guys, holy shit. Holy shit. So we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot about what's going on here. Um, but I'm going to go over it in the next episode. So I'll give you time to digest it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Uh, and then on the next episode, I'll sort of explain my take on what's going on. And uh, loot the rest of the mission, grab the key, make a copy of it, put the key back, and all that good gibbly good jazz. So, <laughs> fuck. Um, yeah, okay. See you guys next time. Keep it classic.